So you're looking to stream the Nintendo Switch, but you don't want to pay for an expensive video card? Well, I might just have an answer for you. Stick around. Huh, look, I have merch, darkandcyrus.com. Before we get into anything, I just want to say thank you for all the support you're showing my channel. As we're growing, I'm nearing 200 subscribers, and guys, it's fantastic. Thank you for being the community that is supporting me and what we're doing, and it's just wonderful to grow alongside with you. So, from me to you, thank you. If you don't know who I am, my name is Cyrus, and I'm here to help you improve your stream by giving you tips and tricks on how to make your experience for a viewer as well as for the broadcaster as easy and seamless as possible. Today we're tackling a topic that can be difficult or can be really easy depending on what you have to be able to stream the Nintendo Switch uh, without having to have a capture card. But if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications. And if you enjoy the video, make sure you hit it with that thumbs up as it really helps out the channel. I also stream on Twitch three days a week and would love you to join me over there. Also, join the Darkness Discord. We have a full community of people who are streamers and people who are gamers who would love to be able to connect with you and be able to support you as you grow. And with that out of the way, let me show you how to do this. So you're gonna need a few things and this is, might be with the point where you end the video because you don't have these, but stick around because I might have an opportunity for you. So what you will need, number one, is a Nintendo Switch. I'm just running the controller right here. Number two, you're gonna need a Windows PC that you're able to connect a Xbox console to. Now, at some point, some of you are going to say, well, I don't have that Xbox. What am I to do? Well, a capture card probably is the easiest bet for you. But today I'm going to show you how to do this as quick as possible to run your switch into your Xbox to your PC and then get it as a source in OBS. So without further ado, let's take you into the computer. All right, so I've got you over in the PC and there's a couple things that we need to do to get you prepared and connected. First off, you need to make sure that you have the Windows 10, the Xbox console companion app. Now they do have the original, or not the original, the new Xbox app. And this app is great. This is where you're able to get all of your Game Pass uh, games and put them in and see what all is there. But one of the things that they don't have yet or haven't found is how to stream your Xbox to your PC from this. And because of that, we're actually going to be using the older uh, Xbox console companion app to connect. Now, if you've never connected, all you need to do is to make sure on your Xbox under your settings that you have enabled game streaming and on the PC, you need to make sure that you've added your device and it will connect to it on the same network. Now they have to be on the same network, so make sure that they're connected and it's even better if they're connected by LAN. So if you can get them connected to Ethernet, it's going to make the latency lower, it's gonna make your quality a little bit easier to, to, to process, but also to see. So make sure that you've run them Ethernet and if not, just expect that there might be a little bit of latency. So once you've done that, you'll be able to click stream and you'll see that it's connecting to Xbox One. And I actually already have it up, but just to show you what's happening, it is my Xbox. And so like here's my home screen for my Xbox One X. All I'm doing is using the one guide option, which is the TV output. So on your Nintendo Switch's dock, you're gonna run the audio, or not audio, the HDMI into where you would plug in your TV. And then by clicking the one guide, it will take you to whatever you've connected HDMI into. Now, there are so many things that you can use this for. You could use it not only for Nintendo Switch, but for a PS4 console or anything that you can plug in HDMI, possibly even cameras. I haven't tested them, so I'm not going to say that that's going to be an option. And latency might be a little bit of a problem, but it is probably going to work if you needed to connect something else to HDMI and don't need full latency like zero latency. So as you can see, I am connected here with um, with my Nintendo Switch and there's two ways to do this. In OBS, I'll go ahead and pull my OBS over so you can see. In OBS, you can either connect through a display capture or through game capture. And so I'm gonna show you both of those to, to go ahead and show you how that they work. So right now I run display capture just because it's easier to switch, but you are able to do add a game capture and you're able to choose 
a specific window and you'll see Xbox Console Companion. And if it doesn't pop up, you're going to have to toggle these SLI uh, capture mode and force scaling until it eventually does pop up. And in this case, it's not coming up because I haven't minimized. Um, but if I pull OBS back up, it should be connecting. There it is. So now that it's connected, I have as a source that I can move around, rescale, and it be an opportunity for you to stream on whatever platform you're using and be able to use your Nintendo Switch without having to purchase an expensive capture card if you have an Xbox already available. All right, so hey guys, I'm actually in the middle of post-production right now and remembered that I had something overlaying the entire screen while I was talking about the cheap capture card option. Epos Vox covered a $15 capture card that you can get on several websites. I recommend you go check out his video. I'll link it in the description below. But on Amazon right now, the one he was referring to is about $27.99 and most of them look like this. But I do believe it's also over on walmart.com for $15. So I recommend you grab one of these his review is very highly rated for this even though they say two stars he was able to give it a very just a fantastic review talking about the low latency as well as being able to capture 1080p 30 at a very good rate so if you enjoyed what he shows you go pick up that cheap capture card as an alternative to using the xbox and this is post-production cyrus out and that'll wrap up being able to connect your Nintendo Switch to be able to stream it on any platform using either an Xbox or somewhat cheap alternative that you can get off of Amazon and has decent quality for it for being such a cheap capture card. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss any video just like this. Make sure you check me out over on Twitch. I stream three days a week and would love to be able to connect with you over there. Stop by and ask me some questions and also join the Darkness Discord. The link for that is also in the description. We have a great community that would love to be able to band around you and we have people helping people all the time. So make sure you stop by. I'm Cyrus, and welcome to the darkness. We'll catch you next time.